We've been truly blessed with the baseball postseason as great as this one. The upsets, the Cinderella stories, and the intense atmosphere that comes with playoffs in any sport has been on full display in 2023. The Texas Rangers sweeping the best team in the AL and the Baltimore Orioles, the Diamondbacks absolutely massacring the 100-win Dodgers, the Philadelphia Phillies seeming to beat the best team in the baseball in the Atlanta Braves with ease, and the electricity that these players bring has been off the charts. Jordan Alvarez, Bryce Harper, Kyle Schwarber, Corey Seager, Adoles Garcia, and so many others. However, there can only be one team that wins it all, so we'll be talking about who will win the World Series this year. The Texas Rangers out of the American League or the winners of the National League pennant, the Arizona Diamondbacks. Let's start with the Texas Rangers. The Rangers started as the 5 seed and had to face the 99 win Tampa Bay Rays in the wild card round. Definitely not the easiest matchup but still came away with a 2-0 sweep. The Rangers then faced the one seeded Baltimore Orioles, another AL East team that finished with 101 wins. As odd makers had the Rangers losing in this round, they come away with another sweep, this time 3-0 to face the defending champions and division rivals in the Houston Astros. After two easy rounds, they got their hardest test in the ALCS, going to a winner-take-all Game 7 where the Texas Rangers came out on top. What makes the Rangers the top team in the AL this year is their great hitting and amazing fielding, matched with their average pitching. All the batters from 1-9 through nine in the order can absolutely rake and can change the game with one pitch. Notable hitters in this lineup include Corey Seager, Evan Carter, Jonah Heim, and the ALCS MVP himself, Adoles Garcia. Corey Seager used his championship experience with the Dodgers to help lead this team, batting 333 with 3 home runs and 12 walks. Even after only playing 62 games in the regular season, rookie Evan Carter proved he's the mainstay in this lineup, batting 308 and playing exceptional center field defense. Jonah Heim, although he hasn't played crazy good these playoffs, comes on in big moments and calls the game from the backstop, so it would be disrespectful to not mention him. Then we have Adoles Garcia, who leaves everybody standing up when he's up to bat, batting 327 with 7 home runs and 20 RBIs this postseason. He's been electric for this Rangers team that has scored 71 runs in 11 games, averaging a little more than 6 runs this postseason. Combine this with the pitching rotation of Jordan Montgomery, Nathan Uvalde, Andrew Heaney, and Max Scherzer, it's a surprise how this team came in at a 5 seed. Jordan Montgomery and Nathan Uvalde have been exceptional for the Rangers eating up innings and posting a sub-250 ERA. What could hold the Rangers back is the depth they have that pitching, which isn't much. Their bullpen isn't the greatest, but Rangers fans can only hope they do just enough to win the World Series. Now let's check their opponents in the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks road to the World Series was a pretty tough one as well, starting with being the very last seed in the National League. They faced off against the Milwaukee Brewers in the first round and made easy work of them, sweeping them 2-0. Now they had a tough task of the 100-win Dodgers, led by Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, and Clayton Kershaw, all future Hall of Famers. Not only did the Arizona Diamondbacks beat them, they swept them 3-0, held two MVP candidates to a combined 1-for-21, and made Clayton Kershaw question retirement after giving up six runs in .1 innings pitched. After the domination of the Dodgers, the Diamondbacks then faced the Philadelphia Phillies and took them to a Game 7, beating them in a dramatic 4-2 win sending them to their first World Series appearance since 2001. What makes this Diamondbacks team so good is their togetherness, good hitting, and great pitching. Watching this team play, it's like they're a little league team that has been together for many years. They play with such enthusiasm and play as a team, which many MLB teams have lost nowadays. Of course, you can't win games with just enthusiasm, so they paired this with a great pitching staff, led by Merrill Kelly and rookie Brandon Fott. The starting rotation of Kelly, Fott, and Zach Gowan gives hitters nightmares because they'll burn innings and won't make any mistakes on the mound. Pair this with a bullpen that's, that's been one of the best in baseball, started by Kevin Ginkle and Paul Sewald, you'll have no hope scoring runs against this pitching. They've given up 40 run runs in 12 games this postseason, averaging a little over 3 runs given up a game. If they continue to pitch like this, you can call it a night for the Rangers. As well as this, they have good hitting led by Kettle Marte, Corbin Carroll, and Gabriel Moreno. The switch hitting Marte has been incredible for this team, batting first and hitting 358 with a 986 OPS. Corbin Carroll, the lock for the NL Rookie of the Year, has been lights out for this team, batting 295 and causing pitchers to panic with him on the bases due to his crazy speed. The rookie catcher, Gabriel Moreno, has been doing it all this postseason. Hitting, catching, running, there's nothing this guy can't do, batting 279 with 3 homers and 9 RBIs. 
Keeping up this great production is key for this young Diamondbacks team. The key for the Rangers to win this series is to keep the Diamondbacks' momentum low and keep them off the bases. The Diamondbacks thrive off the noise and their team getting singles and doubles, which excites everybody on that team. If they can keep their energy low and continue to rake as they've been doing these past series, it'll be a great series for the Texas Rangers. As for the Diamondbacks, they need to get more out of the bottom of their lineup and keep up the pitching production. The bottom four batters in their lineup are all batting under 220, and that can't fly in the World Series no matter how great your pitching staff is. As for the pitching staff, just keep doing what they've been doing. The Diamondbacks don't want this to be a shootout because the Rangers hitters are way more experienced and better than the Diamondbacks hitters. Follow these things and keep the energy up and you can see the Diamondbacks hoisting the 2023 World Series trophy. For my prediction, I got the Rangers in 6. I think their offense is too powerful for this Diamondbacks pitching to contain that I can't see the Rangers having a bad game on offense for 4 games. All that being said, let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later.